Hello, welcome to another little tutorial from David Ward. In this tutorial, we're going to go over uh, bringing in a pose library from earlier versions of Blender into the later version, 3.5 as it stands right now. Now, uh, what I have here is, as you can see down here in the bottom right, if you can see it, it's 3.4.1. That's Blender 3.4.1. Uh, and in this particular version, um, you see here, this is my, my character Herman the pig. You might have seen the little walk cycle I had uh, loaded in there. It's a project I'm working on. But uh, Herman here has uh, a rig, and much like the Ninja Turtle, I, I have his facial controls set up with, uh, with drivers. And this doesn't necessarily apply to only drivers. You can actually rig up uh, his, his face with bone De deformations. It doesn't have to be shaped keys, but in any case, um, as you can see over here on the right side, if you have your, your rig, your armature selected, down here on the object data properties, you have a few options here. You have the skeleton with the different layers. I like to separate out uh, the facial controls onto its own little layer there, and then the body controls on another, and then some of the controls that I don't need to use to animate or anything like that, I put them on their own layer. Um, I wish these actually, you could label these, um, kind of like the collections of the scenes used to be scene layers here, but uh, in any case, uh, that's not super important. But anyways, on this first layer I have his, his body pose, his body rig and such. You can see it there moving around, and then on this layer I have his facial controls. Now, um, I'll give you a little listen here of, of Herman talking. Okay, so that's Herman. Um, so, in order to animate a, a, a dialogue or a monologue or you know whatever your character is speaking, um, it really helps to have a, a pose library set up of things called phonemes. Now, what phonemes are um, are just the different uh, shapes that your your mouth makes as you're speaking. So, for example. Um, if I select all these facial controls, I guess these are the cheek puffs out, don't really need those. But I have uh, the corners of the mouth where it can go smile or frown, and then the top lip and the bottom lip open or closed, and then the chin opens the mouth up or makes it kind of ooh shape. So I've gone through and created poses for each, uh, well not each and every phonem, but enough to, to make it look believable when he's speaking. So I've got A, which uh, let me kill out the the uh, object, uh, the uh, action there. Also, one thing in earlier versions, I have an AMD card. Um, it's a uh, Vega 56, and you'll notice once these windows get a little smaller, it gets really grainy. Um, I I think that's a mixture of this version of Blender with my AMD card. So if you ever see that, don't worry, it's not broken. It's just uh, you scan it, spread it out big enough, it's it's not a big deal. Anyways, it doesn't affect anything that I've noticed. In any case, so um, if I wanted to say A, I got this A uh, pose library asset there. Just boop, and he says A. Okay, say E, boom, E, B, M, M, P. There's like the your lips are closed, mm, p, b, and ooh, so on and so forth. So I have a, a different shape key um, on all of these. So. Um, in times past, I usually have this as a shader or, or something like that. Uh, that's what that window is. It doesn't matter right now. But in any case, um, in times past, I, I have this pose library, and I notice it says Legacy, and it says Convert to Pose Assets. So I click that, and it says down here, Converted 11 poses to Pose Assets. That's, that's good, but it doesn't seem like anything else happened. I thought it would do something to this, but it, it does do something. It's just not straight up visible. <clears throat> Excuse me, unless you have your asset browser over here. So I like to have my menu things at the bottom, like Blender originally used to have everything. Nowadays, a lot of times you have to right click and uh, flip. It says flip to bottom if it's on the top. So I like to I like to have things on the bottom. In any case, um, if you go to the 
type of window here, the editor type, I'm gonna go, if it'll stay open, there we go, over to Asset Browser. And again, it looks like the little uh, set of a couple of books that are leaning against each other. And since I converted the to pose assets, it created uh, a catalog of all of these different phonemes. Um, and it created a catalog name with the phonemes. Now, it didn't populate the catalog, but that's okay. You can go to the unassigned and just click and drag a selection box around all those and then just click and drag them into that Herman phonemes catalog. So there we go. And then just like on the, uh, the Ninja Turtle um, video I, I put up before, um, it creates the thumbnails and simply just the, the viewer. So if I grab my camera and zoom in a little closer on his mouth, grab these shape keys here. If it'll let me just grab the ones I want, there we go. Um, this is gonna be the ooh shape, so I'll grab that one. And if I hit the little cog, the little settings icon there, I can come in here and refresh that one. And again, like with the Ninja Turtle, you can just go ahead and change your camera to be square. Actually, that's gonna be up here in the scene settings. Um, so I'm just gonna make it 300 by 300. And then we'll zoom in a little further and maybe change, you don't have to change the camera to orthographic if you want it a little flatter. You can actually just change the focal length. The higher the focal length is, the flatter it looks. And you can do that and then um, just, uh, let me turn my screencast keys on. I always forget to do that. If you hold down, uh, or tap G twice, and then hold down the middle mouse wheel, you can just zoom in and out like that. And it's, there, and then click to, to uh, copy it. So. That looks a little better. So also, like I said with the with the previous video, you can render out. Actually, that's too small because I believe I have my settings to 50%. There we go. So just render out a 300 by 300. It can be whatever size you want, but then you can save as and go into my Herman the Pig folder here, phonemes. You can see I've already created a few of them, so I'll go ooh, a PNG, save that. And then you can load that in PNG. And it puts that nice, prettier thumbnail there. Okay, so this is version 3.4.1. So if we wanna bring all of these poses into a newer version uh, from your library, say you, you're working on something a couple of years ago and you wanna bring it into the later version of Blender, but you don't have your pose library anymore. Well, this is how you fix that. So you just gotta go back and get an older version. And if you don't have the older version, you upgraded to the new one and deleted the old one. Well, no worries, you can get the old one back. Um, just go to blender.org, go to download. And if you scroll down a little further, uh, let's see, there's, I think you can get, uh, oh, right, 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 right there, previous versions, boom. They shuffled it around on me a little bit, or I just forgot where it was. So you can get the previous versions and um, download every version of Blender, and boom. You can go to download.blender.org slash release, and it goes all the way back to Blender 1.0 from, I believe, 1998 at some point. I actually started using Blender at version 2.43, which is right here. That's the one I started off with. And if you get that one, it's significantly different from, from uh, version 3.5 that we have now. So if you want to just get version uh, 3.0, 1.2.3, whatever version you created your old file in, you can get it right there again. So in any case, I'll go ahead and close that out. And I actually have version 3.5 right here, and it's the same file. But as you can see, if we switch back and forth, if I grab my rig, go to the pose the uh, armature object data tab. Um, you can see pose library is right there after bone groups and before motion paths. Now, if we go to version 3.5, bone groups, motion paths, there's no more pose library. And that's because, like I said, they changed it to the asset browser. So I have my, my version here and I wanna bring in that asset browser that I just made. So I'm going to save this version as, I'm just gonna call it Herman voice test, um, I think I already have a two. Yes, I'll call it three, Herman voice test three. So I'll put that in there just to save it. And then I can append 
go to append, get my voice test one, and it's it's going to be under actions. So you can see Herman phonemes. There we go. I pin that. And if I bring in my asset browser here, go to Herman phonemes, unassigned. Okay, scratch that. That's <laughs> that's not actually correct. Let me try this again. Um, is that the right version? Herman one voice test. Click that guy out. All right, Herman one voice test. Yes. Perhaps it's under Herman. There, Herman voice test 01. No? Well, let me pause recording, and I thought I had this in my head, but apparently I need to refresh a little bit. So hold on a second. Well, I was doing it correctly, but the problem was I didn't save this one in 3.4. So you have to, after you get your asset library created, you have to save it. So there we go. The little asterisk there should have should have told me that I needed to save it, but I, okay. So now, if I go back to this one and kind of refresh from my actions, now you can see there's all of these poses. And if you use the pose, um, the little thumbnail creator, it puts it in there nicely like that. So all I need to grab are these. I just click and drag a selection box and I'm gonna hold on control and click on the other ones till I get all of these actions poses then I'm going to go ahead and append them. Now you can see if we're in the asset browser here in 3.5.1, they're just kind of intermixed uh, along with a lot of the hair um, assets. I don't want to mess with that, but if I go to Harmon Phonemes, boom, there it is. So now I've imported in all of those poses from the earlier version, and this is my new pose library. So you can go through and set up every uh, every shape key that you want for, or every you know pose asset that you want for each, or every thumbnail for each pose that you want to do, like I did with the O here. Um, I won't bore you with all of that. Um, again, if you, I'll just walk you through a quick one, just in case you didn't watch the other video that I made. Just grab your camera, zoom in on the face, um, and this one's gonna just select the bones here. I'm just gonna make this one the A, so double click on that. Also in the previous video, um, I said that if you click on something in, in the asset browser here, it doesn't apply it. If you go to animation, you just click on it once and it does it. But over here, it'll still do it. You have to double click on it. So if you single click, it doesn't do it. But if you double click, then it applies. Over here is just a single click. Boom, boom. But over here is a double click. So anyways, all right. So I'm going to make a new thumbnail for the this A, I, a, a shape of his mouth. So I'll just go to my render settings here, set all the way up to 100, and I'm just going to go 300 by 300, and this is going to be A, so I'll just hit F12, render out this 300 by 300. I'd like to zoom in a little bit more, but this will this will give you the idea. Save as, go to my Herman the Pig phonemes folder, and I, I guess this is arranged alphabetically backwards, so I go here, reverse the sorting. There we go. So I'm just gonna overwrite that one, save as, boom. Okay, then I'm gonna grab this asset pose here. Make sure your cogwheel is open. You can use the folder and go back to that folder where you've saved them. And I load custom preview. There you go. And you can go through that, go through here and do each one of these like that and make a nice, beautiful library. Now this doesn't only apply to the face, of course. So if you wanted to do his body poses, well, that's that's easy as well. I'm going to go ahead and create a new catalog. Boom. That's not one that let me create a new one. I'm going to go ahead and save this one. Oops. Don't need to save as. Just need to save. There you go. Not let me create a new catalog. Hmm. Wonder why it won't let me create a new one. In any case, I can just add them to this one. So say you want to add um, just like different poses that he's going to do as he's talking. You know, so you want to have his head sideways or something, and maybe kind of leaning to the to his left a little bit. Kind of a weird pose, but 
you get the idea. So while we can do that, I've got a nice pose set there with all of his body posing. I'm just gonna go to Asset, Create Pose. I'm not sure why this is not letting me create new poses. Let me pause and see if I can figure out why it's not working. Hold on. Okay, I, I, I guess I figured it out. Um, <clears throat> over here in the Asset Browser, if you're having this same issue, you can't create a new pose or you can't create a new catalog. Well, right now it's set the uh, drop down list here set to all and that that's contains the the default hair assets and everything and I guess that one's kind of locked so you can't mess with it at all. So, the way you get around that is go to all, go to current file. And now you can see I have the ability to create a new catalog. So you just click on the little plus sign. So I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to call this Herman body poses. Okay, so I'm glad I was able to figure that out and uh, and hopefully it helped you as well if you're running into the same issue. So since I was able to create a new catalog, I can also create a new pose asset. So I'll just create a new one and you can see Herman rig. Um, it's just, na it just originally uh, automatically names it whatever the name of the rig is and that's what I have the name of the rig. So I'm going to change that to Herman, I don't, it's already named Herman Body Poses, so I don't need to put the name of the actual pose into uh, Herman in the actual name, but I'm just going to put um, <laughs> Weird Pose, or P-O-S-E, there we go, Weird Pose. All right, so I want to get a, a nicer, um, nicer one for that too, so I'm going to go to my camera and grab it and center him up and zoom in a bit slightly put an f12 render that out image save as just call it weird pose boom and load that in here weird pose there we go so now I got that so if you're animating something totally different just for example here I'm select his feet his hips and his hands and I can move his whole body up maybe rotate a little bit. Maybe he's jumping somehow. I'll move the camera up a little bit. Okay, then select all all those and create another pose asset. Render this one out. Save as weird pose. We'll just call this one weird pose two. Save. Rename the pose itself weird pose two. All right and change that thumbnail. There we go. So now, double click there, double click there. It works the same for any any pose a, a, with a rig that you have. It's, you can do for facial expressions or for body poses or whatever. So uh, that's gonna be it for this tutorial. Hope you learned a thing or two and hope you enjoyed seeing my, my Herman, my little fella there. Um, if you're interested in more seeing more Herman, I actually wrote a children's book uh, with him as the main character and you can see that on my website if you like it's on Amazon as well Herman the fourth little pig so just go to www.davidallenward.com and check that out if you if you like so anyways thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time